automatically log in and we are going to make sure that we are able to um, use our own worlds by enabling the uh, worlds option as a beta in Altspace. So the menu will open straight away. You want to select settings and enable world beta. So if that isn't selected, it will disappear from your options below. If the menu doesn't appear when you first enter, select menu and it will then appear. And your worlds will should now appear in the menu. Once you have this enabled, you want to exit out of the desktop client. Okay, so. The next thing we want is the Altspace VR Unity Uploader. And to find that, we need to go to the website. And that might take a few minutes to download, or it might just happen very quickly. But it will happen straight away. Okay, so if you have Unity open, you can just select the download, and it will open straight away with Unity. And you want to import all of these by just clicking import. And you'll now have an Altspace VR window uh, uh, menu option above here. So if you click on that, click build settings, you'll have a new window open. And you can select the tab and add it to the space next to hierarchy. And now it's just a, a selection there. And you will need to sign in with your login details. Okay, so once you've logged in, you'll be able to access all of your uh, previous projects and you'll be able to create new templates, kits, and select other settings up here. All we need to do is to create a new template and this will open a new window in our browser. So I'm already logged in to Altspace so I go straight to it and I can create a template. And I'm going to call this one tutorial. And you can add different details to this. And you can add an image, you can add a description, and you can tag it. And Altspace is really handy. It gives you these little green question marks to help you understand what you need to put in here. So create the template. And the template is now successfully created. And back in Unity, you can now load your templates. And you'll be able to select your 3D model from that list. Now, you want to scroll down 
And at this point, we don't want to build for Android. We just want to build for Windows. And you can also change this in your uh, Unity settings as well. So go into File, Build Settings, and you can see that Android is in there again, and you can switch platforms there too. Okay, that didn't take too long. So, okay. close that. We're going to go to edit. We're going to edit our project settings now. We're going to scroll down to the player settings. So click player and scroll down to the XR settings. down here and we're just going to make sure that the virtual reality is supported and that the stereo rendering mode mode is set to uh, multi-view which it is down here okay so we're all ready to go now the next step is to build and upload our world so back in the alt space vr build settings you're going to click build and upload and this may take a moment to, to do, and it can happen in the background. And you can go off and make yourself a cup of tea. Okay, once your um, upload is completed, your, um, you'll notice that your project will look slightly different in its hierarchy. And what's happened is that the Altspace VR build settings have changed everything so that it all fits under this uh, environment section. But that just means that everything is the same and Altspace is just changing stuff for you. Okay, so now we need to go and set up our universe. So let's save. Oops, a daisy. Let's save our project. File save and just close it down for the time being. Now back in Altspace, you need to be signed into your account and you need to be able to click more and go to this new option that should appear called worlds. Now there's lots of different worlds, uh, but we're only interested in my worlds. And We are now going to select universes. We're going to create a new universe. And we're going to call it 3D. 3D model world. And you can add in all of the uh, extra details as you see fit. Description, you can make it private, you can ch share images. And you just click create universe. Oop, the description is 3D model world demo. And Outspace is really quite intuitive like this. It knows what it can and can't do and it offers you uh, suggestions again just by hovering over the question marks. So create your universe. You'll see universe was created successfully and if we go back to my worlds universes our 3d model world is there so let's click inside and create a world and we're going to call it the Kontaf Maui statue 3D model of a oops Maui statue in Clontarf. 
and you can choose to add an image and, and change some of the roles, what have you. What's really important to do is that you select a template then. And we've built our template and called it Tutorial 3D Model. And that's the, the template that we're gonna use. So hit Create World. And now you should be able to visit your world in Altspace VR. So open Altspace VR, the application this time, and we will now go and have a look and see what our world looks like um, without the use of a HMD. This is just the desktop application. So if you don't have a HMD attached, you'll just get this message. Okay, so we're going to worlds, my worlds, our Kontar Maui statue. So you'll see that your world is uh, a little bit small or the volume's a little bit loud or um, a whole bunch of different options that you can uh, choose to manually adjust. Back in Unity, you can start making uh, adjustments to your scene to uh, make it look better in alt space. Um, the first was the extremely loud volume on the audio source. And secondly, it was the scale as well. The scale was pretty small. Um, it may actually be easier for us to, to start with the environment and to start to scale everything up. So let's go from one up to three. Okay, now everything is scaled up by a factor of three. And next we want to turn down our audio source because it was fairly loud when we were in there. And we can do that by just cutting it in half. So go over to the volume, sorry, go over to your audio source in the hierarchy and select the volume over in the inspector and reduce that by half. And, oops, and we can now see what that's gonna be like in Altspace by going back to our uh, Altspace VR build settings and we can load our templates. We can select our tutorial 3D model and click build and upload. And that'll take a few minutes to upload and then we'll go over to Altspace. Okay, so back in Altspace VR, we should now be able to revisit our world and see if the changes that we've made have uh, improved it. So let's go. All right, so we're not overwhelmed by the sound and we are somewhat the correct height 
to our uh, statue. Um, we can teleport and move around the scene um, by using our WASD and we can teleport by using the left mouse click. So you can see our model is complete. Um, okay, so the next thing we need to do is invite people to join us in our model so that we can talk about it and tell our uh, tell our story. So let's close down Altspace VR. And we're going to go back to our browser. And we are going to click on events. And we're going to create an event by going into my events. And we can click on start a quick event or schedule event. There are two options here. Um, the first one gives you a couple of options as to how you want to structure your uh, your meetup is it going to be a meeting a performance party meetup live show or something else um, or you can schedule an event which gives you a bit more control over the event um, and takes you straight into uh, all of the the uh, customization settings so let's not forget that we have to select the template Contaf Maui Dublin. Uh, nope, sorry, it's the tutorial 3D model. And we're going to call this the Contaf Maui Meetup. Um, we're going to say meet me at the Maui statue in Clontarf. And we can select today's date and we can end it in a week. Um, I'm going to give a presentation whilst I'm there. And I'm going to create the event. And now I get the option to share my event. So I can now um, see that I have successfully created it, that I am the moderator, so I'm in control of everything that happens there. And I can share a link to my friends or uh, invite people that I want to invite to my event via the link here. And I can just copy that over and paste it into an email. So we can enter the event now in Artspace and we can see that now that I'm the moderator of this event, I can... Um, control certain elements of Altspace that I couldn't before. Um, and this includes things like um, amplifying my voice louder than everybody else's, uh, making other people's microphones mute, and other such controls. So um, we're going into events, my events, the Contaf Maui meetup. It'll give it a second to load up. There we go, I can enter. And now I can meet my friends here and talk about the statue. And one of the options that I have now as the host is that I can, uh, I can basically mute everybody's microphones I can send a message to everybody. I can amplify my voice so I'm heard by everybody. And I can also open up the host panel. So in the host panel, I will get uh, a list of all of the open mics. Uh, the host obviously is me and a list of friends that are here as well. And I can choose to um, get rid of people. Uh, I can choose to uh, mute people. I can host an event basically where everybody listens to me talk about the Mao statue in Clan Tarf. And that's it. That's basically how you go from pictures of 
an object in your local neighborhood or uh, in, in an area of interest and creating a model and importing it into Altspace and creating an event to invite people to it. Uh, I hope that you found this useful and um, I'll be open to answering your questions in the comments. Thank you.